All right, so now we're going to jump into a sample report. And, and um, so I think this will be really helpful for you. Uh, I need to s just let you know this is a real report. Uh, this is not something that, uh, that we've created as a canned report. This was from an actual productive and uh, production environment. Uh, we have permission from the client to use the report. Um, you know, we've consolidated this down to about 20 pages. Um, the report in its final format um, was more than 80 pages. Um, so we're going to walk our way through this, and uh, if you've got questions as you go, please feel free to stop me. Yeah, and, and I will state too, so this is rather um, current. I think this was about a year ago that we did this yeah, project. Last summer. Um, uh, yeah, probably about a year and a half. And, and what's interesting about this, and that as questions may come up, is that we, we are kind of a year and a half into this customer's uh, engagement. I mean, we've done this many, many times over the years. Um, and, and it's interesting to watch the, the life cycle of this. So I think what might be interesting is even overlapping kind of what the output experience is relative to this customer in terms of you know, how they leverage the roadmap and, and what their experience was like and, and the value they received. But uh, and maybe I can come and yeah. apply some of that lens through which this to look at this. Excellent. So you know, as we go through the table of contents, um, you know, because we, we've trimmed out some of the content, um, but today you're going to see that there's, you know, the front end is really business related. Then we've got some technology assessments, technology recommendations. Um, you know, move into some analysis, some, you know, then we move into a recommended solution overview. And in this case, there were two um, solutions that we recommended, and I'll, I'll talk to that in a bit. Uh, we move down through application recommendations, um, you know, and then down into the actual roadmap strategy and transition strategy. We did some soft skill assessment and then a bunch of appendices. So we come to the executive summary, and this is really the, the, the we get into the meat of the report, and key findings and recommendations. This is really important. On the left hand side, we have distilled all of our interviews with some, there was more than 20 people that we interviewed for this client. And all of the 25, 30 questions that we asked them and all of that content, we tabulated and evaluated it. And it's distilled down to there were five key business needs, you know, that were described by this client's business that was really important to them. So things like, you know, rich experience for their customers, CRM deployment, um, you know, business data capture, you know, mobile workforce enablement. Um, you know, and then on the right hand side, you see the recommendations. You know, so there were uh, 10 very specific recommendations that came out of all of the technical analysis, you know, things that we needed to do to enhance their business. You know, and this is the summary of, of the roadmap. And so you can see that we provide a very consolidated view, you know, right out the door of the things that need to occur. Now, and what's what's interesting too, and, and maybe we can we just talk about this Please. for just a second, right? Is is that this, and maybe actually you can just do a, a a chance to kind of the lens through which to look at this section is really how do we give an executive a chance to not have to if they don't if they don't feel the need to read 120 pages of content? How do we really just you know cover the really big things at really that 50,000 foot view, but still provide through the content the rest of the roadmap? to get down to that 20,000 foot view, to get down to the 1,000 foot view, like to get down into the leads, but really we still want to elevate the conversation and say, yeah, this is, this is what we're talking about. Yeah, there, there are, the, the roadmap is fundamentally divided into three parts. There's what is the business saying about the business, and then what are the recommendations against that. The second part is the infrastructure and all of the, you know, the kind of the details around that. The third part is the application layer, you know, and then we roll all of that into a, a comprehensive build plan and a costed plan that we'll show. But right up front, we're giving the business leadership, you know, here's the Coles notes of the entire report. It's in this one chart. On the left hand side, you've got your challenges. On the right hand side, you've got your solutions. Stop there or read further for more detail. 